Would you like to do a story? I've got a really great book. It's a brand new book. I just got it. Would you like to see it? So. It's, it's a story. It's called Thea's Tree. So when we do stories with children, one of the most important things we can do is teach them what's called book knowledge. Knowledge about a book. A book has a front and it has a back. It has insides and it has outsides. So whenever you do a book with your child, point out the different parts of the book. Start with the title and the author. It's important to tell children that a book is written by somebody and then read the story together. So, are you ready for the story? All right. This is called Thea's Tree. And the author is the name of the person who wrote the book. Her name is Judith Clay. Here we are. Thea's Tree. In the city where Thea lived, there were only houses, houses and houses and houses, and more houses. <laughs> they were cold and high, and they didn't have any joy. Mama told Thea all about the trees that she remembered from her childhood. Trees to climb, trees to hide in, and trees to sit under and to look up and dream. You have beautiful trees here in Chandigar, don't you? Many, many trees. Papa told Thea about all the fun he had in the summertime. He liked to pick mangoes and guavas and neem leaves to eat. Thea really wished that she had a tree where she lived. You have trees where you live? Yeah. There's trees all around your beautiful school here. But one day, late in October, a beautiful green leaf appeared. Floating right down. It floated gently and quietly right past Thea's window. <gasps> she got so excited. She was filled with the sound of rustling leaves. <gasps> well, she thought, where there's a leaf, there has to be a tree, right? I'm going to go find that tree, said Thea. And she'll find it. What do you think? See? <gasps> There's her parents. Thea saw her friends and her parents all playing on the street, and she stopped. And she pointed to the leaf that was dancing by and landing on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to help me find a tree, she said to her friends. We'll have to be on our very own because we want to find a tree to climb on. Uh-huh, yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she's just looking up in the sky. It looks like that, though, doesn't it? But her friends didn't seem to understand the importance of finding the tree. Perhaps they didn't even know what a tree was. You know what a tree is, don't you? You know what a tree is. Yeah, let's see. <gasps> Here's the leaf. In with all the buildings. Thea followed that leaf, and her arm was outstretched trying to reach it. Can you try to reach it? Oh, reach that leaf. Let's see your arms. How high can you make your arm? Yeah, good job. All right. But every time she got so close to that leaf, moved away. She could hear the sound of the leaves. Round and round that leaf led her on a merry chase. And suddenly it rose up in the air and she found that she was floating too. She's floating up. Like that. She reached once more and finally managed to grab the leaf. You grab it? Grab that leaf. Good job. Yeah, good. And as she clutched the leaf, what happened? The rustling melody that she was hearing washed over her, and she drifted off to sleep. She's sleeping. Yeah. 
Look, there's the moon. Let's see what's going to happen next. And in her dream, the leash lifted her way up high above all the concrete and all the buildings in the city, and she started sailing towards the moon. Wow. Must be quite a dream she's having, huh? She found herself near a beautiful tree with white leaves, and a wise old face was in the tree. Can you see? See the eyes, the nose, and the mouth? Can you see? Look. Can you see the face in the tree? It's a wise tree. The tree started talking to her. Did you ever see a tree talk to you? <laughs> That's kind of special, huh? Why do you want a tree so much? The tree asked her. Do you want to build a hut or a boat with it? Do you want to make it into newspapers or books? <gasps> she said, no, 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 no. I want a tree for climbing on. I want a tree to play with and to sit under and to dream. Ah, then he said, then you need a seed to plant. You go and plant a seed and it will grow into a tree. When Thea woke up, she was outside of her house and she had the seed in her hand, a little tiny seed. And her heart was so happy from that dream that she decided to plant that seed in the ground. And maybe one day, there would be a tree. As Thea got older, look what happened to that seed. What did it do? Did it grow? Big. And she got older, the tree got bigger and bigger. And people came and played under the tree. Her children came to play under the tree. Her grandchildren came and played under the tree. And if you come to Thea's town today, you will find that the tree is still there. The end of the story. Thank you for listening. Good job. <laughs> it's important when you're reading a story with children to be dramatic, to use your facial expressions.